Greetings, my friends. This is Gilles Mancillon. I thought I come and say hello. It's been five days. I've been through a, a little adventure that was like kind of challenging, but um, so I come back to, to wish you a good day to, to, to talk about the certain ideas. The first is that we're becoming more and more conscious each and every day of our own process. And we need to, to spirit is leading us all to this point of zero point of freedom, of freedom, of presence, of, of abundance. The zero point is where everything stops, is where everything starts and is where everything happens. Happen. So it's very much a multi-dimensional connection, and for that we need to learn to breathe, to breathe, to breathe, to be conscious of our breathing. For the zero point of freedom, the whole of humanity will be led and guided for like the next many generations to that zero point of freedom. But us as light workers, we are in the forefront of consciousness, and so we won't need to wait for generations to get there. And we, it is it is available at any given point, but we we have to accept the own process. And and so the, the zero point of the zero point is accessible at thousands of times every day. There's no, there is thousands of opportunity. You say, how? Well, well, we have thousands of breaths every day. Every day we breathe in and breathe out thousands of times. For the most part, it is unconscious. But on the bottom, on the very bottom of each breath, there is the zero point. And so, so we do not need to learn to breathe prana and to be within the now, to be within the presence. Or as Maharaji used to say, it's like... Uh, uh, a breath is something very, very precious, and we have an abundance of them. Therefore, we all reach in that level, and so, um, so it's it's very much about cultivating this sense of presence, of being in the now, and to uh, to, to understand where all the systems are tested. It's like well. We're, on a, we're like a space shuttle that's ready to, to depart, and it's like, but all of the system before, it's like the, the launch be authorized to this ascension. We have to make sure that all of the systems are being checked. Everything is in functioning order. So sometimes we just need to go back to, to, to fix a little something, to be ready for something. We do need to purify our bodies, the four bodies, the four lower bodies, which is the physical body, our mental body, our emotional body and our astral, spiritual, etheric bodies, all of them needs to be aligned. And so, because the ego cannot figure it out, most of it, and the ego needs to be given tasks, so to, it's like to, to cooperate with the, the progress, but, um, but it, it, it won't be able to figure it out. What we think is to understand that, that there is accumulation, everything is cumulative, and what's going on inside, there is always the facade of the outer world, but what's going on inside is building up to something completely new. And, and so, and galactics and many, many beings are adding layers and layers and layers in these in this inner planes. Uh, what we seek also is to be constant to make always the highest choice. Not always, but most of the time, and to have a constancy. Because it, it's fine to, to, to say, well, I'm doing fine with that. It's like I, I dealt with this very well. But then then the situation comes from another angle, and it's like the, the, it's like an opposite stand of, a, of judgment, fear, separation, hatred. It's like, well, say, well I've been loving in that. But so it's like to, to have a constant... To be constant, and it's very. There was a philosopher, the philosopher that I forgot who it was, but who was talking about that. He was saying that uh, constancy is one of the rarest thing in human experience. They're really inconstant, but but we do need to be constant and realizing there is a great, there, there is a there is a great shift that is going on. I feel it on a personal level and on a collective level. Certain things we do not have a choice. Right? It's like there's no use bothering about it because we do not have a choice. Um, personally, I'm being confronted every morning with a situation where I don't have a choice that's extremely painful. And yet spirit is always showing me a positive resolution and the reason why I'm being confronted with that. So it's like, uh, we do need to know what is um, what we need to transcend, what we need to align with, to to um, because life will repeat itself. There's constant repetition, the process of days, for instance, like the God decided that repetition is the best way to learn. So it's like the principle of days, 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 days that repeat themselves. Yet, yet every day is different and we're being confronted uh, with, with having to make choice and eh? so it's like uh, so me it's like just having hope that everything will be resolved on my own personal level because it's like really really difficult to handle to deal with the, the, the key is to understand that all that is going on in this physical world is only a temporal experience an illusion it's not the reality of what's going on within and the love that is being shared and, 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 and connected with so 
Understanding the 3D timeline will soon be over. We'll, uh, we'll send them love, uh, send them send love to, because we're, we're removing ourselves from the dark dark controller's timeline of 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 of, 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 of submission, of, of slavery, of lack. Of uh, it's really important to this apocalyptic timeline to remove ourselves from that and help those who are ready to to move towards that. And very soon, this 3D timeline will just be a memory, will be something that will be fall, that will fall into the dustbin of history, and we won't even need it anymore. And so, um, and so it's no longer needed. We don't really need to be concerned with the past. Huh? We want to be concerned with the present and what the, the future will bring. And so, because the past is known and the future is unknown, so there is a lot more comfort zone in in in, in turning to the past because it is known. It is something we can we can rely on. But the future we don't know. So it it is a leap of faith, a uh, trust. And um, because very soon we're going to be start. There is all kinds of really dark truths that will be uh, coming up. So it's like uh, we're going to be confronted with very bizarre and horrifying things. Huh? Uh, for for within ourselves, it's only our own shadows. But when it comes to the collective, there is like really really dark things. And um, the, the revelation of what's been going on in the underworld of the planet for thousands of years so it's about looking at all this without judgment and not to be entangled in it or to be because if we, if we judge it we become we're going to become entangled in it so it's about staying calm trusting that all is in the hands of the creator it just needs to certain things needs to be coming up to the surface in order to be changed or transmuted Understanding, we, we we had hundreds and hundreds of lifetime on the planet. We don't really know what we did. We might have participated in some dark things as well. So so by forgiving others for what they did, we were forgiving ourselves. If we because we don't have the information of all our past life, and I've been revealed hundreds, dozens of my own past lives, but only fragments of it, and yet enough to to understand the. the that is very interesting to get all the, the Akash, the memory of the Akash. When we're ready, things reveal themselves. And, and once we'll know all of our history, we'll understand all of the, the, the designs of our soul and the past and we'll be fully enlightened. There was a master on the planet that had all this memory fully active while he was living in his physicality. His, his name is Master Saint-Germain. We send greetings to our beloved friend Saint-Germain. He, he, was, he was the model, the hierarch of the New Age, his uh, eternal use and infinite abundance. This is really what we will eventually uh, come to to realize and, and live on them. And as we, we ascend, the, the masters will be able to come down to assist us in the transition. For now, they're still uh, prevented from that. Our dimensional divergence is still too great for them to be allowed to, to come in. But uh, we can already, through our own psychic uh, connection, we can already... Um, connect to them on a daily basis and, and, and receive wisdom and guidance from all kinds of planes. Well, I hope this message was interesting for you. I, I really thank you so much for your donation. It's really keeping me alive right now. And I thank you for, for supporting the channel. The, the card of the day is, um, the, the observer of the day is happy, happy to trust that everything is in perfect divine timing and in the perfect, in the hands of God. Everything is, everything is supervised and framed within the consciousness. Every experience is actually, there is silent observer of a, or it's like a soul education program and we believe we're alone when actually we have we have there's dozens of spirits that are always there trying to to, to assist us or to see what the progress we've made and everything so it's about focusing on happiness and joy this card happy happy and to, to trust that th there is so much once we let go of any um, any judgment any criticism any conflict any negative thoughts about ourselves or others then life will is definitely shifting towards something very very beautiful the highest wisdom is the message in the bottle to read the signs the signs are there and huh? for me the signs is about freedom it's about joy it's about abundance it's about it's creativity it's, it's so wonderful i can feel what's coming it's just navigating the time where it's like it actually manifests and and what we need to understand is our destinies it is all about our destiny certain things we do not have a choice once we made all the choice clear into our yeah, in our inner self that then everything is aligned and the spirit will do all it can to to get us as soon as possible ready for that which is the our highest destiny potential what we need to do is imagination, continue to, to imagine, to, to imagine the best possible reality, the, always to use our imagination to cultivate the, the to cultivate our highest vision and, and the outcome will be trust. 
trust in ourselves, trust in life, trust in others, to move into a flow where, where we feel very, very confident. There is a new, a new energy of confidence that will be coming after the, this great shift that is coming. And there is probably this solar flash that is also building up, to, we're building up towards that. There were many, many people will, will suffer and many people will die, like the song I'm going to sing. But it's part of the process. Do not worry about it. It is a natural thing, a natural mystic flowing through the air, like the song. I'm going to sing this song. It went through my mind and put a few cards. It goes like this. There's a natural mystic blowing through the air. If you listen carefully, now you will hear. This could be the first trumpet, might as well be the last. Many more will have to suffer, many more will have to die, don't ask me why. Things are not the way they used to be now, won't tell no lie. One and all got to face reality now. Though I try to find the answer to all the questions they ask, though I know it's impossible to go living through the past, don't tell no lie. There's a natural mystic blowing through the air. Can't keep them down. If you listen carefully, now you will hear. Such a natural mystic blowing through the air. This could be the first trumpet, might as well be the last. Many more will have to suffer, many more will have to die. Don't ask me why. If you listen carefully, now you will hear. Such a natural mystic blowing through the air. There's a natural mystic blowing through the air. Uh, well, it's, Bob Marley explained in this song, he's a, very, he's a prophet. And Bob Marley, has all his music is very prophetic. And so, one and all got to face reality now. Whatever reality is before us, we have to face it. Huh? And we can look for the answer that other people ask, but uh, we can we have to stop living through the past. Huh? It's like uh, and and be honest about things. So I'm going to pull a few more cards. Yeah. And uh, getting ready for profound transformation, huh? life changing transformation. But let's hope we have to trust in the in the wisdom of our higher self. It's like it's very challenging sometimes. It's like the, the observer of the day is persecution and inquisition. It's like uh, for me, it's like uh, it's like the soul connection is really really hard, and I feel it's like the. the, the the option would be to stop caring, but I can't. It's like I, there's this great love bond that that is uh, that is there, and it's like if I if I stop caring, none of this really matters, really. But uh, it's really it's, it's really challenging. The the well yeah. So the highest wisdom is forgiveness. I have to forgive that person. I have to really continue to keep keep the, the, this this idea of forgiveness. And we have to forgive. It's like without forgiveness, there is no freedom. We have to forgive ourselves, and we have to forgive all, all that that even in the unforgivable things. And what's unforgivable is really where we need to forgive, because that's really what what keep us down. The highest wisdom, the, the, what we need to understand is God, the Father. So it's like understanding the the presence of God, this point of presence, this point of total that God is the presence of the understand the, the the consciousness of God is so far beyond us. So it's like it's it really have to bridge the, this consciousness little by little by little by little because it's so grand, it's so grandiose, it's so the, the love of God and the light of God and the power of God and the wisdom of God is so far removed from human consciousness. It's because it is so grand and we're so limited. But, but go, accept your imperfection as the within the perfection of the Creator and know God loves you just as you are, where you are, all that you are, and will assist you in, in getting closer each and every day. We need to collaborate, cooperate, 
with the process and and what we need to do is the trees and to stay stoic to stay uh, to stay well anchored within the earth and and continue to grow towards the sun to have this consciousness of uh, uh, of just being uh, the trees are very much about being and the outcome is the orphan sometimes we find we feel abandoned in this world it's like it's a world where where it's like everything is about separation everything is about disconnection everything is about opposition so so it's like we have to bridge that to let go to 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 find anything we can that we can get closer to get to 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 each other to 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 to, to our source to 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 nature everything and to to reconnect to recreate this connection and and for that we need to to become the knight the knighthood it's about wearing the armor against the negative and, and defending the highest value defending them the defending the what, what has value to be protective to be a protector guardian of the of the higher vision and also to be noble the, the knighthood the knights originally were, were noble beings and they, they were uh, they were very uh, they had higher principles and they were they were the example of nobility so i hope this message was interesting for you and continue to cultivate your sense of well-being and self and connection to your source i thank you so very much and i wish you a wonderful day Salut.